Hey everyone, welcome back. Uh, <clears throat> so yeah, I hope you guys liked the video on the Reptilia Supercharged. We're just sitting way back there now, collecting dust. Um, I've got the DLC now. Uh, I decided to download it and first trip to the junkyard, found a 68 Dodge Charger. Um, pretty happy about that because that's pretty much the car I wanted. I know everyone likes the 69 because of the Dukes, but 68 happens to be my one of my personal favorites. Um, actually, it's the favorite charger for me. 69 has a split in the grill, um, which I don't mind, but I like the wide open grill of the 1968 and 1970. 1970, instead of having just a front bumper, has a complete wraparound bumper, but it's empty in here too, which looks uh, pretty sweet. Uh, what really makes me a fan of the 68 is the taillights, even though there's none in here, it's a double round uh, tail light, which is 1968 only, 69 they started to go um, straight across. And although that's a nice look, um, I prefer the look of round tail lights. Something about round that makes a muscle car a muscle car to me. Uh, interior, I don't know Dodge well enough to anything if if anything changed, but I'm pretty sure it stayed the same throughout. Uh, the Rustangs come along pretty good. Found some panels in the junkyard, and I'm slowly um, replace them as I go along. I'm not ready to do the car yet, but uh, Project Rad Zam's getting some new panels as well. I'm just collecting the panels, repairing them, and firing them on, saving some money as we go. Uh, car's starting to look better. Uh, but this video is Project Hell Camino is back. Yeah, even though it's not the same one we started with, it is the one uh, that we have to finish now. It is, however, the same engine which I've completely rebuilt again from top to bottom. And this is in the exact same state that Project Hell Camino left. Uh, I believe I threw all the suspension everything in it last time. And all that's left to do is throw the body panels on, paint it, do the interior, and some wheels and tires so we can roll it into the paint shop. Uh, so I went ahead and bought the panels off camera, at least all the ones I think that I need. And we're just going to go ahead and start throwing these on. Um, because I don't want to ramble on too much and not do anything in the videos. I know I talk a lot, but I enjoy talking. I uh, hope that I got everything so I don't spend all the video in the tablet looking for parts that I forgot. So far it looks like I'm doing pretty good. Uh, there wasn't much left to buy. Like I said, all the different colored panels are the ones you've seen that I found in the boneyard and repaired. Uh, which I think is really cool that they keep the original color, like, uh, you know, that fender came off a green uh, Atlanta at one time, and uh, so when you repair it, it is painted green, which uh, I, I really like that attention to detail. I thought it was a pretty cool, rather than when you repair it, it just turns black or back to the original body color of the car you're working on. I think it's uh, pretty sweet. Uh, okay, so that is all the body panels. Um, do, 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 do. So we'll go back to... Uh, just going to close our fantastic hood here. I love the double bumps, or the cowl hood on it. Uh, she's starting to look like an El Camino again, 1966. Uh, so basically now, uh, if I go to my inventory... Oops, not the tablet. If we go to inventory, I just want to check and see what this had on it for rims to start with. Because I would like to maybe put the original rims back on it, just maybe a little deeper, maybe a little bigger. Uh, if it had 14s, I'm thinking maybe a 16 inch rim. Or a, uh, oh, I did it again twice, sorry about that guys, I'm just not thinking right now, I'm trying to talk. Oh, okay, inventory, da, 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 da. engine, all oh, is what we want, why can we not, oh, here we go. As you can see, I've been collecting a lot of panels, uh, batteries, and pretty much anything I use, engine blocks, uh, just trying to create a stockpile like I had before, so it was Rim Retro 01, I think that would be a nice looking wheel, and it had 255 70 14, so a fairly wide, tall profile. I want to see if I can get 285 75 16s on this because it would be like a 33 inch tire. 
Because, let's face it, this thing is supposed to sit like a four-wheel drive, even though it's not. But I think it's made to look like one. Maybe they just haven't factored in a front diff. If they did that at one point, that'd be really cool to have a four-wheel drive El Camino. Lots of guys actually turn El Caminos into four-by-fours because they are a sort of truck. Okay, so first let's buy our rims. So it's Rim Retro 1. Modern, did I miss retro? Classic, classic, classic. Modern, retro. Retro 01. No, I think I got that wrong. So that does not. Oh, here it is. Yeah, no, sorry. I was, I was thinking it was this one here. Um, hmm. Do we put chrome wheels or some black in the center? Kind of like in the black in the center and the chrome lip. I think it would look really good as a deep dish wheel. Um, I did that on the Corvette, so I think I might go with chrome. Wow, is it ever a difference in price from $40 to having black in the center to $180? Wow. Well, same rim, but I think we're going to keep the... Uh, so we're going to buy four 16-inch wheels. Uh, we're going to make these a little deeper. I think the 50s max offset, so we want them to stick out. So I'm going to go with a 30 offset. Uh, that should be fairly deep. That might be too deep. Huh. Oh, well. We'll, uh, we'll just have to see. Worst case scenario, we'll buy some more rims later on. Okay, so... Uh, we'll go inventory this uh, da, 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 da. inventory again. Sorry about that, guys. It's looking like oh no, I don't want to sell it. There was no dish on that rim. This is going to be really deep. Uh, definitely had an off-road tire in, so let's go buy some tires. Jeez, we're hitting seven minutes already. Time flies when you're having fun. Uh, off-road tire and off-road tire B. Now these look more like a BF Goodrich. Uh, obviously they, they are the RF Goodwind. <laughs> well, I guess the knockoff BFG, but you can see the tread pattern definitely was a BFG. And this is more of the BF Goodrich mud terrain. All terrain? Mud terrain. Uh, uh, let's go with the mud terrain. Make it look. We're going for a four-wheel drive look, so let's do it. Uh, so 16s, gonna go all the way up to 285, uh, 75, 16. Now that's gonna be equivalent to about a 33 inch tire, not quite as wide as a 33 1250, uh, but I think our rim's gonna do all the offset for us. I just hope we didn't choose too deep of a rim. Let's see what it's gonna look like. Oh my, that is a deep rim. That is a deep rim, and that is a big tire. I don't know if we're gonna fit this <laughs> on the vehicle. That might be a couple grand out the window. Really hoping not. Once we get one balance, we'll go over, throw it on, and have a look. Man, that is a big tire. I really like that rim, though. Might it should maybe it should have went black in the center. It would look really cool. Uh, but it's old school to have just the uh, chrome rims. And this car is old school, so we're gonna stick to that for now. All right, let's go try one of these puppies on. It's gonna be really deep and really big. I hope that 285 will fit in that wheel well and not look dumb. It's going to let me bolt it on. That's a good sign. Oh my god. That might be too big. 
Uh, we're definitely going to be rubbing. No questions there. Oh, boy. I don't think we're going to be able to run these tires. Shit. That's a lot of money out the window. But we're going to put them on anyways. It allows us to roll it into the paint shop at least. Let's see what one will look like on the back. It's too bad you couldn't install a lift kit. That would be really nice. Wow. The vehicle is practically sitting on the tires. I wonder if we'll even be able to drive this. Oof, God. We have created a monster. That's a shame. Oh, one more rim to go. Well, it's not the depth of the rim. I think the depth of the rim would have been okay had we chose uh, maybe a 245, 75. The profile's huge. I should have maybe dropped the profile down a little bit. But here we are. Ah, it's definitely going to rub on the front fenders. I wonder if we can even drive this. Let's lower it down and see what it looks like. Well, it looks kind of cool. If it definitely fills the wheel wells no questions there wow oh no we can't run that the wheels coming through damn 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 it damn um all right i'm gonna pause the video here and i'm gonna buy a new set of wheels and tires for this i'll be back in one second all right guys we're back so i took the car ahead in the paint booth so you can see more of the tire stance off of the hoist and here we go now what i did was i went with the same rims i just kept de dismounted the 285 75s and i put on 275 50. Uh, now for those of you who don't know uh, 275 is your tire width uh, in millimeters when tires went metric 275 is a millimeter of your face of your tire that sits on the road um, and 75 is your profile so 75 percent of 285 millimeters will be your sidewall um, so basically what I did was I l narrowed the tire out 10 mils and I dropped the sidewall from 75 so basically 75 percent of 285 is a lot more sidewall than uh, 50 percent of 275 so I dropped the tire down and it you know gives it that wider look even though the tire is actually a little bit narrow on the deep rim it looks like it's wider but it's actually not but I think it gives us the perfect kind of off-road look just a little bit of tread showing all the way around it uh, so yeah that was that uh, that was a mistake and uh, I throw the 285s in storage in case we ever get a truck option that we can jack up or jack this car up all right so uh, oh yeah also off of camera I went ahead and threw the license plate on. Um, the one at the back I think is white, a little easier to see. Uh, the plates say Hell Camino. Uh, there's $1,700 for the front and rear plates. And uh, yeah, um, I threw the interior in. I bought some buckets that I thought went pretty nice with the interior and uh, put the wooden steering wheel on it. And uh, let's paint this puppy. Hopefully the color is saved here. Yeah, there it is, and I just have to paint the whole uh, entire car. That was easy. I wonder if I should put a black hood on it. Um, if anybody watches this far, let me know what you think it would look like with the black hood or without. So for now, we're going to leave it like that. We are done. The motor is restored. It's a lot of orange. Uh, so 100% on everything. Cars worth 55 grand plus a $9,200 restoration bonus. It makes 390 horsepower at 4,500 RPM and 679 foot-pounds of torque at 2,700. That's making a lot of torque in the low end. 
uh, typical of a four-wheel drive. This thing is um, supposed to be 4x4, four four, I think. Uh, so now that everything's 100%, uh, it's a nice burnt orange. I'm really happy with the color. Um, let's give it its first startup. Fires up right away. Sounds mighty fine. Can't wait for different exhaust tones, though, for the V8s. And uh, the option to rev the car right here would be nice and watch the tack uh, uh, hit its red line, which is six grand on this. That's not bad. Love the interior in these cars. Anyways, that's it for this episode, guys. So next episode, I will do the same thing I did as I did with the Reptilia. I'm going to take this out, uh, give it a top end test, see what it'll do uh, in the top end. Then we're going to take it to the... Uh, to the racetrack and see what kind of lap times we can get with it even though they still haven't fixed the steering all right guys well i hope you uh enjoyed project hell camino and uh we'll uh we'll see you tomorrow for or next day whenever i get to it for the test drive oh yeah also don't forget to like comment and subscribe huh as always